Good evening. There's a serious health hazard stretching across large parts of Sydney tonight with garbage piling up on the streets. One of the nation's biggest waste collection companies has grounded its entire fleet of nearly 3,000 trucks following a fatal crash on Monday. Already residents in nine big council areas are being told their household rubbish could be left to rot for days. These bins in Balkham Hills were supposed to be emptied this morning. Many are overflowing. This one from Silvana Draby's childcare centre is filled with nappies. I don't know what we're going to do with all this rubbish. And every week I have, every day I have lots of rubbish. It's not just the Hills District. Residents across Sydney are affected from Blacktown, Hornsby and Parramatta to Bankstown, Burwood and Ashfield. The clean away garbage trucks that normally collect their waste have been taken off the streets over safety concerns. We're pretty lucky this week our bins aren't really that full. 2,800 trucks nationwide are being inspected after one was involved in a shocking fatal crash in Adelaide on Monday. Parent company Trans-Pacific informed councils last night. We realise it's an inconvenience However, safety has to come first. A second person involved in the crash died this morning and two others are in a critical condition, including the truck driver. A Trans-Pacific vehicle was also blamed for another deadly crash in Perth three years ago. This is a question that goes right across this sector in the waste industry. We've seen rollovers because of poor equipment and people being killed. Once collection resumes, emptying the red general waste bins will be a priority, then the green organic and yellow recycling bins. But residents are being warned they may have to wait until the weekend, possibly until next week. And I have lots of rubbish inside, I have to, where I'm going to put it now? Residents are urged not to leave excess rubbish on the curb because it could attract vermin and spill onto the street. Alex Hart, 7 News.